Hey there, my name is Dr. Cork and today I'm going to make cocktails with just vodka. Vodka is probably the most versatile ingredient for cocktails because it has no flavor of its own and therefore combines with anything. And the better the vodka, the less flavor it has. Although, in my experience, the most expensive vodkas are often less neutral and more pungent than the mid-priced vodkas. I'm gonna make four cocktails today, where the only spirit will be vodka. And I hope they will be different and interesting. By the way, I have made cocktails with vodka a couple of times before, so you can check it out. There and there. There were interesting exemplars too. So hit like, grab your favorite vodka and let's get started. The first cocktail I'm going to make is Lemon Rosemary Vodka Collins. A Collins is basically a sour cocktail made using a base spirit, usually gin, lemon juice, sugar and carbonated water, served over ice in the glass named after it. There are plenty different Collins cocktails to choose from, the most popular being Tom Collins with Old Tom Gin, but you can absolutely use any other spirit as a base – brandy, whiskey, calvados or vodka. So lemon rosemary vodka collets. We're gonna need a cocktail shaker, to which we're gonna add vodka – one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, freshly squeezed lemon juice – one ounce, 30 milliliters, simple syrup, which is one-to-one -one water and sugar – half an ounce, 15 milliliters, and leaves from one rosemary sprig muddle a little bit for rosemary to give out its flavors and aromas to the drink. Now add ice to the shaker and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Unfortunately, I don't have a Collins glass, so I'm gonna use this tulip instead. Fill the glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail to the glass. and top up with soda, about 1 ounce, 30 milliliters. Stir a little and garnish with a lemon wheel and a rosemary sprig. And this is how you make lemon rosemary vodka collins. Refreshing, not too sweet, not too sour, great cocktail with just vodka in it. The next cocktail is Cucumber Mint Vodka Gimlet. It doesn't get much simpler or more refreshing than the classic Gimlet, which is made of equal parts of gin and lime cordial, or gin, fresh lime juice and sugar. The cocktail is specified as a gin sour, putting it in great company with drinks like the Daiquiri and Margarita. So why not make a vodka Gimlet, I thought. To make this cocktail we're gonna need a cocktail shaker, to which we're gonna add vodka, 45 milliliters, one and a half ounce, freshly squeezed lime juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, fresh mint, a couple of leaves, and the cucumber, two or three slices. Muddle cucumber and mint in a shaker. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. And fine strain to the chilled cocktail glass. And garnish with a cucumber slice and a mint sprig. And this is how you make Cucumber Mint Vodka Gimlet. The next cocktail is Blackberry Martini. It has nothing to do with a classic dry martini, which is gin or vodka with a little bit of dry vermouth, but I guarantee it tastes much better to the average user. I'm not a fan of strong cocktails, so to me it definitely does. Just like all other cocktails today, this one is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add vodka, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, freshly squeezed lemon juice, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, and 1 ounce of blackberry syrup. I'm just using blackberry jam with berries in it. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it like there's no tomorrow. Dedicating the shake to this comment.
when strain the cocktail to the chilled cocktail glass and garnish with a couple of blackberries. And this is how you make blackberry martini. And the last cocktail for today is grapefruit rosemary vodka fizz. Fizz is a mixed drink variation of the Sours family cocktail. Its defining features are the acidic juice, such as lemon or lime juice, and carbonated water. It typically includes gin or rum as an alcoholic ingredient, but in our case, vodka. Cocktail is also shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add vodka, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, and again, leaves from a rosemary sprig. Muddle the rosemary leaves. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating this shake to this comment. Put an ice ball into the old-fashioned glass, fine strain the cocktail, Top up with carbonated water and garnish with a grapefruit slice. And this is how you make grapefruit rosemary vodka fizz. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe and ring the bell. If you like my videos, you can support my channel using Patreon. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot. All the recipes in text format are on my website, dr-cork.com. The link is in the description. Love you. Bye and the Swedos.